SMT Nation, we back. Nation, First Net Authority, uh, you know, this is a very precarious situation. They operate their network core through the AT&T, you know, RAN network, the, the radio access network of, of AT&T. And when the outage happened last week, uh, it, it put them in a really tough spot, right? First responders, government agency. It really, it really was an extended outage for those folks, right? N not to downplay consumer and, and business and those things, but there's going to be a huge meeting this week and they're going to be discussing the outage over at the first net authority. Let's talk about that here today in this video link for the article and post, uh, from the first newsroom. If you guys want to check out some of the details on what we expect from that meeting. All right. Ways to support us. You guys can find those links in the description as well. You can always like and share this video that helps out the channel tremendously. All right, folks. So the, the outage from AT&T that happened last week, it has a lot of things going on still to this day that will be considered, you know, carry over. There's going to be investigations from state attorney general. Uh, there's going to be investigations from the FBI. There's investigations internally by AT&T and of course, FirstNet. And with the director of FirstNet speaking on it, you know, they, they're going to be meeting this week. I think they mentioned Wednesday as the day for it. Uh, so they're going to be looking to figure out what was the cause, what were the communication failures that happened with respect to, you know, mitigation efforts and restoration process. Uh, they're going to be looking for corrective processes and actions to not just work on trying to prevent these in the future, but to improve the communications and work towards the solutions. So board members are going to meet this week. They're going to be looking to try to strengthen, uh, you know, the processes and the, and, and the responses specifically, I think the response teams, uh, in regards to something like this outage. And then the task force that develops from it is probably going to be one of the initial responders to these types of issues moving forward. Anytime you have first net involved folks, you know, it's going to be something big. They've generated, uh, tons of contract revenue for AT&T and of course AT&T contractually obligated to follow these guidelines and uh and prioritize the restoration efforts in these types of events so just be on the lookout for a possible update uh, we'll look to see if there's any terms team changes or updates to it we don't expect you know FirstNet to be all of a sudden you know looking at other providers as their primary you know, option to move away from AT&T, that contract is pretty st steady and ironclad. That's not going anywhere, but um, there have been rumblings of redundancies from other networks getting involved. So that's something we have to kind of keep in the back of our minds as a possibility for the future. But just letting you guys know, this is just kind of a, you know, kind of a housekeeping item that, you know, the, the, the outage from AT&T does have some future looking steps and action steps that need to happen. And we'll be monitoring it here in on our channel. All right. So what do you guys think of FirstNet responding to the AT&T outage? How much do you think needs to be done? What do you think should be done to help reduce these issues in the future and mitigate the impacts of outages? Sound off in the comment section below. You're the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.